Dr. Scalia is in place, correct? Correct. Hommel's for, Hommel is functional. We're ready to receive the organ. Roger. And one last time, UMMC, Helipad, Clear, and CISCOM. And you guys are ready to receive the organ, correct? Accurate. It's cleared for launch. Let's make some history. Launch. We're launching. <laughs> Aircraft is airborne. We want to prove that this can work, that we can safely transport an organ, even if it were a few short miles, safely, uh, you know, from, from point A to point B and, and reach that waiting recipient. <laughs> okay, Mr. Anna, we're good. We have technologies now that allow the unmanned transportation of really any payload. And what we've done is try to innovate those systems to allow our patients better access to higher quality transplantable organs. I think the modes of transport, you know, should be expected to evolve over time and this seems to be a natural evolution of, of how we transport things. Maintaining 91 meters altitude, 10 meters per second. We want to be part of that project and take it from this stage of short visual line of sight and then someday working up to aircraft like this that will fly tens and hundreds and again with a different aircraft, thousands of miles. Time in air, four minutes, 30 seconds. Approaching Martin Luther King, 100 meters. All right, aircraft has successfully landed. I am disarming the vehicle. Oh, vehicle has disarmed itself. I'm approaching the vehicle to hardware disarm. All right, confirming Hommel's active. Temperature is appropriate. Organ doesn't appear to be injured at all. Looks like a perfectly transplantable organ. One small hop for a drone, one major leap for medicine. This is a major step towards reinventing the way that the current system of organs are moved. And I think we can help a lot of people this way. Might take a long time, but it's the first step. Go team. Awesome. <laughs>